I'm trying, I'm trying to trick you. They're right over there. But we're going to get to them in just a second. But uh, you are absolutely correct. We're here at BC, and we're celebrating the 60th anniversary and also this really big game that's happening tomorrow. So we were able to get some people up early, last minute, mind you, with us this morning. So I kind of want to do some introductions since they were so sweet to join us. So name and what do you do here? I'm Jose Vasquez. I play football here. Football here. What position? I play cornerback. Oh, nice. So you're going to teach me some stuff later, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. And how excited are you for the game tomorrow? I'm really excited. I can't wait to see. What know. What do the rest of the, the guys say? Are they nervous? Uh, or are they anticipating? What's going on? I think they're getting hyped for the game. Yeah, it's. I can't wait. It's going to be... We're ready. Okay, question. Ready. How does that locker room look before the game? Are you guys freaked out, cheering each other on, going crazy, or are you kind of calm? Uh, I think we're cal yeah we're calm and cool and you know we we just prepare ourselves mentally and, and get ready for the game. I can picture him being calm and cool. I like that. Okay, <laughs> you next. I'm Amanda Lara and I'm part of the cheer team. Nice. How many people on the cheer team again? Sixteen. Sixteen. All right, we got four of you girls. Thank you. Do you get extra points for or like extra credit for coming up this early? No. 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 <laughs> Maybe some donuts and coffee. Krispy Kreme just opened. Hey, just a side note. I'm Jenna Liao, and I'm part of the cheer team as well. Okay. We're going to skip you because you're going to be my talker. I'm Hallie Stevens and also part of the cheer team. Okay. I'm Robin Lane, and I'm part of the cheer team. Awesome. I'm Heather Foss, and I'm the new cheer coach. New cheer coach. So how long is new? Is it two years, one year? I just started just in March. Started. Congratulations. You and you, sir? Hi, I'm Josh Davis, and I'm on the wrestling team. I like it. Okay. So this is our squad for the morning. Last but not least... I'm Francis Mayer. I'm the sports information director for the greatest athletic department in the known universe. <laughs> All right, step forward just a little bit for me. Now, oh, you got an applause back in the studio. I, they like it. So tell me about the game tomorrow and tell me about the history of this place because everyone's kind of excited about both. Well, we have a ton of history. Uh, the college is one of the oldest junior colleges in the nation, and our athletic department is right up there, too, over 90 years old. Um, and the stadium is turning 60 this year. Happy birthday, Memorial Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> so when is the actual birthday? Because I know I spoke with you over the phone, and you were saying it's a kind of a celebration the whole month. That's right. September 22nd was the first time they played a game in Memorial Stadium. This is actually the first structure that was completed on campus, and students actually had breakfast and lunch here. This is where they serve food because, like I said, it was the first thing they finished on the campus. Uh, but this weekend's game against Riverside is a really big deal. Last year, uh, you know, they got the best of the Renegades, and that doesn't happen very often. We win here, um, and we win a lot. Uh, we've won national championships. We've, we've won state championships, and we're hoping to really set a tone on Saturday. Uh, Riverside is not the same team they were last year. But if you remember back to the state championship game, we filled this place up. And our fans are better than Seahawks fans. Uh, th these are the real 12th like man. It's the, they know it. I mean, it's the <laughs> truth. Uh, when we get our fans going, uh, it gets the players going. It totally unsettles uh, opposing teams. And it's an advantage. And we want to take uh, as much advantage as we can of that. So go to valleytix.com and buy your tickets to the game. <laughs> You're so good at this. Well, ah. I try. Yeah. Well, hey, so I checked on Twitter as well. And uh, it seems like this whole place has a lot of school spirit. A lot of people dyeing their hair, painting their faces, and uh, wearing a lot of spirit-like clothing for the big game tomorrow. So stick with us. We're going to have more from BC and Memorial Stadium. We come right back right now. Aaron, back to you. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Aaron. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're getting ready. We're getting warmed up. We have some of our players here on the field. We have the athletic director, Francis, with me doing push-ups. He was doing one-handed push-ups earlier. I'm not sure if he's doing that well right now. We also have the cheerleaders here as well. So, you know, this is just Woo! like a little preview of what you can expect tomorrow. Good job, girls and boys. Now, Francis, yes. I should say young men, actually. I apologize for calling you boys. How do you feel after those one-handed push-ups? Medic! <laughs> Trainer. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's a ventricle pulling loose. I'll be okay though. Uh, I was surprised. You know what I wanted to do, but you got up before. I wanted to try to like put my leg on top of you while you were doing and to see if I could add some more pressure. Okay. No, we can. We, do you well, want to try it right now? We'll try. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if it works. Okay. Might as well. Okay. Ready? You yeah. Have one hand. Uh, you have to do one hand though. Oh, okay. You ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> God, God, get it. Ooh. <laughs> bravo, bravo. So is this the type of training the football team goes through in order to get ready for tomorrow? Ten, ten times harder. <laughs> harder. Uh, Renegade football works their tails off. Um, they did two-a-days this summer in the heat. 
Uh, they, they work their butts off. Jose, how do you feel about that? Oh, well, it's, it's true. We... I'm going to get Francis a breather. Look at him, look at him, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So excited for tomorrow. Yes, of okay. course. So big game. What time does it start? And uh, people can get here earlier than that. I'm yeah, guessing. it starts at six, and then you get here earlier. You know, get better, get good seats. And then when you get here, make sure you say hi to him, and of course Francis. He'll, he'll have he'll catch his breath by then. Yes. I'm guessing. Okay. Absolutely. So we have our cheerleaders. How long does it take you guys to prepare for a game like this? Uh, we practiced all summer two times a week. We had a lot of events for the community and we're just really excited. I like that. Okay, so we have cheers, we have stunts, and we have, I'm guessing, some type of halftime show. Yes. Okay, so are you guys excited about that? Yeah, we're yeah. really excited. Do you want to give us a little preview? Maybe we won't do it for this one because I'm kind of putting it on, putting you guys on the spot. But the next one, okay. a preview? Yeah, okay, deal. Did you catch your breath? Yes, I'm doing better now. No okay. myocardial infarction. Okay. I'm healthy. Well, guess what? We already ran out of time. So get, get down and give me 20 more. Okay. And then we'll come back with more here from BC. Ooh, stay with us. <laughs> you are correct. I definitely do. We're actually going to do that in just a little bit. Jose is going to teach me um, how that actually works with the football team here because I think last time I did it, it was with a bunch of rugby players but this is our setup for the morning so we're celebrating the 60th anniversary of Memorial Stadium here at BC but also the big game happening tomorrow so our cheerleaders are doing a little dance for us a little preview on what you can expect tomorrow when you head on out here we have Jose tossing the football with our dear friend Francis but we have some food that I see Josh that Josh, Josh has it in his hand what is this and why do we have it here well, this is a sample of what we're going to be having at the Alumni Barbecue on September 17th okay. here on the BC campus. That's the first time in more than a decade that the Alumni Barbecue has come back to the Bakersfield College campus. Why did it leave? Well, it, you know, for reasons that I'm not quite clear on, but now we have so much stuff we want to show off, like the newly remodeled Performing Arts Center, like uh, Professor Manny's Robotics Lab. Like, we have a lot of really cool stuff going on up here. And if we don't get people on campus, they're not going to know about it. Yeah. I mean, we offer a four-year degree now. So... Yes, true story. You can get a baccalaureate degree here at Bakersfield College. And uh, Chef Eric, um, our, our new executive chef. This looks really good, just so yeah, you know, and it smells steak. really good, too. Uh, with with a, a nice rosemary herbal butter, you get a roll. You also have your choice of chicken, but with a, with a steak like that, and look at that. Mm, we, we brought nice. out... Yes. We brought out the we brought out the guest plates, <laughs> um, and you can get tickets at valleyticks.com. The nice thing about the alumni barbecue is if you stop and think about it, if you've lived in Bakersfield for a while, your degrees of separation between you and BC are maybe two. So the alumni barbecue is a great place to catch up with old friends, make new ones, and have a great time on the BC campus. All right, so let's talk about the game tomorrow because I know this is a big deal. Yeah. Um, from what you told me earlier, you guys last time you went up against Riverside didn't really go the way you hoped. Right. What do we we hope this year or well, tomorrow well what we hope is well, what we know is that the renegades are fast the renegades are in shape we have some key returners like dom frash number 29 great le renegade legacy there he is uh, the grandson of coach carl bowser who uh, won a national title here at bakersfield college and uh we have some of the best coaches in the united states so we have a great game plan we're fast we're in shape you guys have been working your tails off yeah. and even though we suffered uh, one, one of the worst losses in, in program history to open the season last year this is a whole new season so if people want to come, how do they get tickets? Well, they go to valleyticks.com. Valley um, and, and how much? Do we know how much uh, they are? We, we do. Uh, season tickets are still on sale. You can still get them today. And you're going to save uh, 2 to $3 a game if you do that. Um, or you can buy them here at the box office. But I'm recommending that you go to valleyticks.com and get your season tickets today I while, like while you still can. Yeah, I like that. All right, Jose, come over here. You're going to show me a little something. Girls, keep cheering for us. So we're getting ready for the big game tomorrow. And coming up, we're going to learn how to... Uh, uh, properly throw football yeah. and properly tackle. What do you even call this? A dummy? Yeah, I call that a. Uh, you can call it a dummy. Okay, we're gonna call it a dummy. Show me what you got. We'll uh, have more when we come right back. I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> you scare me, Kalina. <laughs> there you go. Hey, she's little, but she's <laughs> tough. Good morning, Aaron. So we kind of changed it up a little bit. You know, we had our men playing football and talking about wrestling earlier. Um, 
but we decided to give the girls a little chance at getting into this football game. You know, it's a big game tomorrow against Riverside happening right here at BC. You can get your tickets online, of course. And it looks like our girls are doing pretty good so far. What do you think, Jose? Yeah, they're doing pretty good. I like it. She has a cannon. How do you like holding the pom-pom? Uh, <laughs> not really too much. <laughs> Just so you know, before we went on camera, yay! Oh my god, that's like an actual stunt for girls. <laughs> he didn't even know where the handlebars were inside. I'm guessing you I found them. Oh uh, yeah, I found them. Okay, I good. didn't know, I had no clue where these things, I don't know how to use them either. It's like my <laughs> first time wearing, using pom-poms, yeah. Josh, what did you think? Oh, they're interesting. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not bad, yeah. Do you think you might take this up as a hobby? Uh, no. No? No. 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 It looks good on you. Oh, yeah. No, I got no. It. I'm good. <laughs> okay, hold on, Francis. Girls, how is it? The football, how is it? Good. Good? <laughs> I saw you guys do some moves. You, where are you? How are you? my spiral. Are you good at, like, everything? I'm pretty well-rounded athlete. <laughs> She's confident, too. I like that. All right, so I'm going to give you your palms back. Thank you. For the most part. Jose, do you want to give them? Or you, actually, you guys look really nice with them. Let's keep them on you for a second. Okay, Francis, let's talk about the game. Let's talk about Josh. Absolutely. Uh, you know, tomorrow night here at Memorial Stadium, we're taking on Riverside, and the R in Renegade stands for revenge. Ooh. Be here, Bakersfield. We need your support. To Memorial Stadium at 6 p.m. You're going to see Hallie and the girls. You're going to see Coach Judy and his mighty men in red. And we're going to tear up Riverside. I, I don't like making guarantees, but I'm going to make one. Um, this is a guy who has actually defied guarantees and bad suggestions. Josh, you suffered a bit of a knee injury, and you're coming back this season to wrestle for the Bakersfield College Renegades. How do you feel about that? I'm very excited. You're feeling better now, right? Absolutely. Okay. How long did it take you to recover? It took a little over a year. Wow. But with the uh, therapy and uh, training staff here and just did a lot of dedication and a donor tendon and a donor tendon yeah so what what happened exactly uh i reached the uh, semis in the state championships and i uh, blew my knee out and continued to wrestle and ended up tearing four ligaments oh and uh, taking sixth but that's what it's about that's what we do it for taking so sixth. But are you kidding? That's so great. No, he, he took sixth in the state with a leg that was pretty much held together by skin. Oh, my goodness. Well, you have um, something coming up next week, right? Correct. Okay, so what is it? We have a duel next Friday night against Victor Valley and West Hills, and then we have two more duels on Saturday morning here. I like it. Okay, so a lot going on here at BC. Make sure you uh, come on by tomorrow for the game, and then also keep up with the wrestling team as well. We'll have more when we come right back.